snow is beautiful in its own way, but I miss my beaches in California. Please. I want to go enjoy the beach, the ocean. Mmm. <laughs> Simulcast is the sixth studio album released by Tycho. Depending on how long you've been following me with this channel, you may have seen my review of Weather that he released just last year. I enjoyed that album. I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it. And I thought, you know, if he releases something else in the future, I think I will be interested to see what he releases. And lo and behold, this year he releases something. Wow. Okay. Let's get to it. I remember playing it for the very first time and thinking I'm getting into this. And then something struck me a little puzzling. And, and this is one of those things where I'm trying to decide, do I like this or am I put off by it? He includes a couple of songs that he had in the last album, Weather. Now I've seen artists do something similar like this. Most of the time it's usually something in their EP that they have just before, maybe the year before or so, that they're going to release it on the other album. Not all the songs, but usually some of them. But even in that case, this album isn't very long at all. And so I was wondering to myself, what's the goal or motive or reason, blah, 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 as to why he would include three of his weather songs onto this album? Which, by the way, personally, I feel like they actually kind of go well with this album. I will say that, but it puzzles me because I have that knowledge. Maybe someone who's trying to discover new music, like I often try to do, won't know that. And so, do you credit this album with those songs? Or is it something awkward beforehand? I'm not entirely sure. So, what do I do? I do some research, and then I can't find any answers. So what do you do? I tagged Tycho in a tweet and hoped that he would reply to it. This is what I wrote. At ISO50. That's his Twitter. Uh, it's not Tycho. So d just in case you didn't know that. Love listening to the new album, but I have a question. Why include songs from the last album? And actually, he didn't take that long to reply. I'm actually surprised. He said, it's a companion album, and they are connected. I still don't know what that means, though. It doesn't sound like a bogus or illegitimate reason, but I still don't feel completed in the reply. That might be just a personal thing. But here's what I'm getting at. There's a couple different ways you can look at this. You can have albums that are divided. You can have albums that have a part two later on. There aren't really albums where you're just like, oh, here are two albums that, let's say, they blend together. And so when they unblend, some of the songs are in both sides. That just personally doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So when I rate this album, does that affect me? Yes, but only like this much. Because like I said, I do think the songs that do come from the last album kind of feel like they belong in this album also. If not, maybe more. So after having felt like I ranted forever just about that part alone, let's talk about a little bit of the other elements of this album. It's all pretty good. You kind of get an idea of what his sound is. It works out pretty well. I only have a few issues with the album, and it's very minute creative decisions. It's just stuff that I feel like maybe I would have tweaked this, maybe I would have included something more. Not too much. And because I've already mostly mentioned the other three songs to some degree in the other review, I'm not going to highlight them here. I'm going to highlight two of his other songs in this review. Starting with All Right. <laughs> and Outer Sunset. Both just got me in the zone. That's all I can really say about it. They got me in the zone. Some of the other songs that are more original to this album in particular do, at the end, 
kind of decrease in tempo or kind of just feel like they're more in a cloudy sphere, which isn't wrong, but sometimes I'm not always in the right mood for those songs at the very beginning. The first time I listened to this album, I think they worked out pretty well. The second time I thought, hmm, uh, it's, it's not as convincing, but I can't find too many issues. So yeah, some of these songs are going to be based on mood, but overall, I think if you're trying to find another interesting electronic experience through music, this is actually a pretty good album. So after all that, having listened and reviewed this album with production of 97%, creativity 91%, expression and lyrics 97%, this album is going to get a yeah. Let me know if you also feel that conflict or if you have a good reasoning or explanation for this. I semi-understand what Tycho was saying when he tweeted me, but I kind of still need closure on it. The reasoning isn't going to make this album a yes or down to a good. It's going to stay what it is because those songs do complement it well. I just kind of need help understanding it. If anyone has a good enough reason, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff down below so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.